How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and in this video I want to talk about Japanese Full Art Trainers. As you have probably noticed, a lot of Japanese Full Art Trainers have gotten quite expensive of late. I mean just look at this Lily card for example. Given out as part of a promo pack for the Extra Battle Day Tournament winners, you weren't even guaranteed to get this card. Not only is this card super expensive, but it also appears to be incredibly rare since I couldn't even find an accurate price for this card in a raw copy. Only after searching tirelessly through different forums, I could get a rough estimate of about $50,000 for a raw copy of this card. Yeah, that's quite ridiculous. But as the title of this video suggests, there are Japanese full art trainers that don't make you go bankrupt. So let's start it off with Bea from VMAX Climax, currently available for about $22. This version of Bayer is significantly cheaper than the version from Shocking Vault Tackle, which goes for around $50 these days. Next up we have Luka from Ultra Moon, a set initially released in 2017. This card is available for about $20. If a card has more than one version, there is a good chance that one of these will be cheaper, and this Red's Challenge from Double Blaze is no different. This is available for around $30. Staying in the Kanto region for a bit longer, here we have Blue's Tactics from Miracle Twin, available for just $10. A few more characters from Kanto, here we have Professor's Oak Setup, also available for around $10. And we can't forget the mastermind behind Team Rocket, Giovanni's Exile, also available for around $10. Let's move to the Hoenn region for a bit here and take a look at some of these cards, like this Roxanne from Battle Region currently available for about $30. We also have Wallace from Incandescent Arcana, available for just $5. That is incredibly cheap. And to round off our Hoenn trio, we have Flannery from Silverlands, available for about $20. Next up is Arezu from Dark Phantasma, my favorite character from Legends RC is second only to Adaman. This card is available for around $30. Speaking of Adaman, here we have Adaman from V-Star Universe, available for around $25. The last card from the Hizui reason is the Misfortune Sisters, also from Dark Phantasma, available for around $10. Sword and Shield definitely had a lot of great characters, and here we have Leon from Shocking Vault Tackle, available for around $15. Next up we have another incredibly cheap fuller trainer, we have Lance from Paradigm Trigger, available for around $5. V-Star Universe gave us a lot of amazing cards, not only Pokemon but full art trainers as well as you saw with the Anamon earlier. So here we have Boss's Orders featuring Cyrus, available for around $7. Another card from V-Star Universe is Sharon's Care, available for $11. One thing to note though, the version from Starbirth is available for around $2, but I think the illustration from V-Star Universe is just so much cooler. One last card from V-Star Universe, here we have Melanie, available for around $20. Last but not least, I have a few cards from Scarlet and Violet here, starting it off with Professor's Research. Now there's two versions of this card you could go for. You could either go for the version featuring Professor Sada, which is available for around $26, or you could choose Professor Turo instead, which is available for around $9. I really wanted to have at least one SAR on this list, so here we have the Arwen from Violet EX, available for $25. And while the Juck SAR is also pretty cheap, I prefer this one over the Juck to be honest. Now while the cards I've just showed you are pretty cool, what if you wanted another card? Like the Serena from Incandescent Arcana for example, but you don't feel like spending 270 euros on this. Well, don't worry, there's a solution to that as well. Now if you're not hellbent on the card being in Japanese no matter what, the simplest solution is to just buy it in a different language. Let's see the Serena for example. As I've said, it's available for around $270 in Japanese. But if you buy that same card in English, it's suddenly just $30. The same goes for a lot of different cards, so let's take a look. Friends in Gala, my favorite full out trainer card. And while the Japanese version isn't too expensive at $75, the English version is just $15. For the Irida card, we have two different versions that we can look at. First up we have the Japanese version from Space Jungler, which is around $270, while the English equivalent from Aster Radiance is just about $20. The other version is the one from V-Star Universe, currently available for $135, or the English equivalent from Crown Zenith, which is just 
Cynthia also has a lot of different versions, but let's take a look at my favorite one, which is this one. The Japanese version will cost you around $350, while the English equivalent will cost you just $55. I think the biggest change we've ever seen actually comes from the recently released Scarlet and Violet pack, the Miriam cards being the perfect example for this. While the normal Miriam in Japanese from Violet EX costs you around $220, the English equivalent is 10 times less than that, at just $22. Same goes for the Penny, while the SAR version from Scarlet EX will cost you around $100, the English one will only cost you around $12. The biggest change by far though is from the Miriam Special Illustration Rare. While the Japanese version will cost you around $800, the English version is just $62, and I have a feeling it's gonna get even cheaper. But even now, that's a price difference of 13 times less than the Japanese version. To put that into perspective, would you rather have one Japanese copy of this card or 13 English copies of this card? I know what I would choose. Now that does open the question though, why are Japanese full art trainers so much more expensive? Well, I'll try my best to explain it without going into too much detail. The first reason is the pull rates. While we don't have an official statement from the Pokemon company, it wouldn't be too strange to pull two or even three full art trainers from an English booster box. Japanese booster boxes are completely different. First up, you're only guaranteed one super rare. And while all full art trainers are super rares, or in case of the newer expansion Scarlet and Violet, maybe even super art rares, they do have to share this spot with other super rares like full art Pokemon, or even alternate arts during the Sword and Shield era. So you can quickly see that they are much more difficult to pull in Japanese. The second reason is of course the print run is much smaller than compared to the English TCG. Since the booster boxes are only supposed to be sold in Japan, but thanks to resellers, they are being sold worldwide. So you have this issue of a very small print run that's only supposed to be enough for Japan itself, but you have people from all over the world wanting to buy this, so that's a simple supply and demand issue. And while the small print run may have its upsides in terms of quality, that isn't always the case. As you can see here by this Professor Burnett card, it has a lot a lot of print lines, but this clip also shows you why Japanese cards are regarded so highly. They just appear to reflect light so much better than their English equivalents. The third reason is the so-called waifu tax. A term that's commonly used for a female full art trainer that's super super expensive. And while I can't really comment on that fact since I don't have the insight necessary, it is no secret that characters like Lily are incredibly popular in Japan. And by the time this video goes up, Clayburst will have released together with the Iono full art. And I'm really curious to see just how high that price will go. But that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. See you in the next video. Take care.